Hello and welcome to this IceCast tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use IceCast. Now there's a lot of tutorials out there, but when I've been trying to do this, I found that it was really hard because all these tutorials are old. Most of them will have you use a tool such as EdCast. Well, I'm going to show you why we're not going to be using that today. The simple problem with EdCast is that it's just not around anymore. Take a look at their website. The time has come for me to close Oddsock. Back in 2000, he started this website. See, that's the problem. The code is old and it's going out of date. We need something that somebody's actually supporting. And on top of that, with the type of setup that we're going to be using today, we need to, well, basically put the microphone on the internet. So we're not going to be using Winamp either. Today, we're going to be using a few tools known as Butt and Icecast. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to get them. First you'll need to download IceCast from icecast.org. Just go to the main page and click the download there. Next you're going to need the broadcast using this tool. Now I'll go ahead and show you how you're supposed to find it. Just Google that and then click the first link there. And this is what it's going to look like. Now uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and it's on the SourceForge page and the download link is right there download but alright so now once you have those I'm gonna show you how you need to configure them so that you can get icecast and but running I already have them running right here on my computer as you can see here's the typical icecast setup and here's but doing its thing it's been doing this thing for about two hours now so the first thing you gotta do with icecast is edit the configuration files now this is important because it comes with default passwords, so you want to change these passwords like hack me and admin and hack me and hack me um, to something else. I'm just going to keep them the way they are so that this tutorial can help you understand what's going on. And besides, I'm not using this for anything serious anyway. So once you're done with that, save it and close it. And there you have Icecast set up. Now you need to work on but here. Here are the settings that you need to set for but. First you need to give it a name, the IP address you're going to, the port number, and the password here. Very simple, just hide and show it right there and then give it the mount point. If you're using MP3, you don't need to put in the .mb3. If you are using OGG, you need to put in the .ogg. Go ahead and save that. Go ahead and add the stream information. We're going to call it testy test and describe it and give it the genre and give it a URL and save that too. What's also cool about um, but is that uh, you can configure the stream to uh, how high quality you want it, what type of quality um, and file type. And also you can record your streams as well. We're not going to be doing any recording to today, but you can record in a higher quality than your streams and you can save it in a wave file so that's nice for all of you professional radio people out there and then finally the GUI don't need to touch anything there now when you start up but you're going to want to hit the play button not the record because the record file is just going to do exactly that record a file and if you end up mounting that um, record file into icecast that means all your listeners are going to start at the beginning of that mp3 file and then continue on it's not going to be a live stream what we want is an absolute live stream, just like the same way that radio in the real world works. So we're going to save all the settings here and close up the settings, start Icecast, butt's going to connect, and look over here, it's going to show up in the stream from butt. So we can see all our values that we set here. The thing that you have to remember about Icecast is that it does not pick up the audio streams. What's nice is that but will send the stream to Icecast. This gets you around um, port forwarding and it gets you around firewalls that you might have on your home network. So that's something that's really good there. But's working, we can see the VU meeting, meters moving up and down here um, because of my voice. So now that we're done with that, we can go and take a look at the uh, configuration web page that Icecast has for us. And we'll just use this one. Go to the web page of localhost port 8000. 
And there we go. We are into our IceCast server. Now you'll notice here that once you start yours, you're going to have this, and then you can listen to your stream by just simply clicking this file. And you can listen with QuickTime, iTunes, VLC, or Windows Media Player. But I've decided to go ahead and say that no, I want a web player. So I've decided to edit the configuration files just a little bit more. Now this is where things get just a bit more advanced. To add this web player here, we have to go into the configuration files for um, IceCast. So we'll go into our files here, and it's in web, and that first page that you see is status.xsl. We're going to click it and open it with our favorite text editor, and right here is what I've added, this highlighted part. Okay, that's just part of the table. You go ahead and add it as a uh, as a hyperlink there, and it'll show up there on the web page. Now, next, you need a web page to actually work. You'll notice here that it's gonna it takes us to let's see copy link location. Where is this going to take us to? Paste. Okay, it's going to take us to player slash index.html. Okay, well, here's player. Here's index.html. All right, so now what do I need to do? Our third and final tool that we need is FFMP3. And you can find this pretty easy. Um, just go to Google and search FFMP3. Here's the main page, and then click download um, right here, and it brings you to this page. Once you're here, you'll need to download that file, and then you'll need to set up the configurations. So right here, it's very important that you have the HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1, or whatever the IP address is. And then put in the port, and then put in the stream. Remember, if you're using OGG, put in dot OGG. If you're using MP3, you don't need to. Go ahead and give it a name and a welcome message if you want. I don't want to. You can generate the code and it gives you the skin. Now if you want the skin, you have to download that. And then you copy and paste this. Now where do you copy and paste this to? Well, back into your index.html. You can see it right there. Okay, I just put it inside an HTML and body uh, tags right there. So now once that's done and we've downloaded the skin and the configuration files for FFMP3, um, we can uh, extract them, those two files, to right here. Okay? And then once that's done, we open up those files and we put everything into the same folder. That's why we need this player. Uh, folder underneath web underneath the IceCast server. So once that's going on, I'll go ahead and give you a look at what's going on with the IceCast server and the web player. We click web player and there it is. A very testy test. Test is our stream that we've been working on. So let's go ahead and show you what's happening behind the scenes with the web console here in Firefox. Very nice. And we press play and it plays our stream. Now, if you're listening really close, you could probably hear my speakers in the background, but if not, I'll just start this up again, and you can see the data moving across there. That's Firefox, not Firefox, is showing us. So it does work. And that's all you need to do. So between the two files that you have to download, IceCast and Butt, and here they are again. There's Butt, there's IceCast, and remember the configuration settings, too, and on top of that, um, using FFMP3, you can professionally host your own stream on your own website. I hope this tutorial has helped you, and go ahead and give me some comments and send me messages if you need further help.